The Kenya Conference of Catholic Bishops says that the late Archbishops' remains will be laid to rest at an invite-only ceremony on Tuesday at the crypt. Archbishop Ndingi will be given a befitting church send-off on Tuesday, the 7th April 2020, during a brief solemn funeral mass to be celebrated inside the Holy Family Basilica at 10. We paid a visit to the crypt. It is an underground room, an extension of the Holy Family Minor Basilica Church building. The crypt was constructed in 2018. Ordinarily, bishops are supposed to be buried inside the cathedrals where they served. If there was no crypt like this, eh, they would try to excavate and create eh, a grave somewhere in the church, which is uh, not a very decent thing to do it. So Cardinal Jue came up with the idea. Father Simon Peter Kamomoe tells us that the crypt originated from the days when the persecution of Christians was rife and most of them worshipped at the caves known as catacombs. The caves also served as burial sites for any member who died. Christians reserved the idea. The person who qualified to be here ordinarily is the local ordinary. The local ordinary is the bishop who is running this particular diocese. You see, and also the retired ones. Inside the crypt are slots where remains are laid. Since its inception, any bishop in the cathedral who passes on is supposed to be buried here at the crypt. The first one to be buried here is the late retired Archbishop John Njenga. Though he served as an Archbishop in Mombasa Diocese, his wish was to be interred in the Nairobi Cathedral. Okay. So uh, we are now planning to use the second slot here uh, to make the body of uh, the great uh, His Grace Bishop Governor Dimi Mwanazi. With about 34 slots in the crypt, the late Archbishop's Ningi Mwananzeki's remains will be the second one to be laid to rest in this room on Tuesday, right after the Requiem Mass. Archbishop J.J. McCarthy and Maurice Cardinal Otunga were buried on different sites. Holy Family Basilica is the second Catholic church to have a crypt. The initial one is in Embu Diocese. This one's. Mm -hmm. The small ones. They are meant for the relics. 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 Relics are the bones. Oh. Never till after maybe 20, 50 years, the body will decompose and then it will only have the bones. Ndingi, whose active priestly ministry spanned for over six decades, has been eulogized as a shepherd who tirelessly laid down his life for his flock and the entire people of Kenya. The vocal archbishop passed on 31st of March after he was taken ill at the archdiocesan clergy home in Nairobi. Kamchemenza for Channel 1 News, Nairobi.